you said you kind of fell off as a professional wrestling fan. When you came back to watching professional wrestling on, on a, a more uh, consistent basis, what did what was it besides that whole era of punk and that attitude era? What was it that attracted you and you kind of go, fuck, man, I, I could do that? I mean, I, I feel like despite like not being a fan, I was always interested in doing it. Like in, mm. in middle school, like I would always tell my friends, like I wanted to be a pro wrestler. And then even getting out of high school, my dad was always a big wrestling fan. And he would always be like, well, how do we get you a trial with WWE? I'm like, I don't, I don't know, dad. Like, I don't know any wrestlers. I don't know how that whole thing works. He was always convinced that I could be a wrestler, which, you know, it turned out I could be. It wasn't until like one of my friends met like an old worker that he, so my friend was dating uh, a girl that worked for the Kings. And she used to be like an in arena host. So she would talk to fans and stuff like that. And one of the fans found out that her and her boyfriend were wrestling fans and was like, Hey, I used to be a wrestler. If you if you or your boyfriend ever want to come like take a bump or, you know, run the ropes and stuff. And my best friend Colin was like, that's like all he's ever wanted to do was try it out. So he went and did it. And then I found out about it. We went to a Santino brothers showcase, which was a little student show inside of the warehouse it probably had like 30 people in there but it was just like such a tight space you just saw these guys going above and beyond with like stuff that you've never seen before especially as like a wwe fan from the late 90s early 2000s it was whoa this is cool you know it had that more underground diy punk rock approach to it that really attracted me to it so the next day i signed up for wrestling school <laughs>